Aloha everyone, my name is Puna and welcome to Island Driver TV. In 1930, Hitler had a vision to create the Volkswagen, the people's car. Seven years later, Volkswagen Group was founded. We want to learn more about this, so we're here at the Shaka Weekend. Let's go. <laughs> To really understand the Volkswagens, we have to break it down for you into five different groups. Starting with the most popular, the Bugs, followed by the Vans, Carmen Ghia, the Thing, and the Type 3. So let's start with the Carmen Ghia. In 1955, Italian car designer Ghia probably created the most favored car for limbo contests. So unlike the Bug, where the body is comprised of different components, the Ghia is all one piece, except this one has been chopped. To learn more about what you can do with the gear, I enlisted the help of my friend Mike. Mike, tell me more about your gear. Well, it's a 1965 gear that I bought about two years ago. Um, and I had a whole bunch of friends that um, helped me out. The motor is a 2074, 48. We got the interior done by Al's interior. Uh, Hector Commissario of uh, Contractors Equipment. He painted the car and Louis uh, Javier did the flames and the ghosts skulls and whatnot. Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, I always had a passion for Volkswagen. Had one in high school. That was my first love. Got the fam got families, had to get rid of the cars. And um, now all the kids are grown and have their own families. I can get back to things that I love. Now you can play. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Introduced at the 1961 Frankfurt Motor Show, the Type 3 was marketed as a Volkswagen 1500. There are three different models, the notchback, the fastback, and the squareback. Unfortunately today, we only have the notchback. Next we have the VW Bus. Many Volkswagen enthusiasts will identify them by the amount of windows they have. There are three different generations. Right here we have the first generation, the split window. This generation of van is known to be modified up to 23 windows, which can be sold for 150,000 and more. Speaking of 23 windows, I'm here with a legitimate 23 window. Ron, why don't you tell me more about it? Uh, it's a 1957 uh, 23 window bus. Uh, we lowered it, uh, we put in some narrow beams. Uh, we just installed uh, 17 inch wheels, um, four and a half in the front, uh, 17 by six, in the back, six and a half in the back. So the future for this bus is um, we want to get it down to the ground, so we're probably going to put on a Wagons West uh, air ride system, uh, get it maybe about two to three inches off the ground. Which management system are you going with? Uh, I think it's Wagons West, Wagons West system, yeah. They have their own management system? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. On the opposite side of the spectrum, you can also get it in this camper version. Here we have the second generation, the Bay Window. Out of all the buses, this is the one you will probably see on the streets most. When you think of the psychedelic 60s, peace, love, Woodstock, this is the bus. Here we have one of the newer generations, which is not a bus, but a water-cooled van again. Born in 1968 and sold in the U.S. from 73 and 74, I have the thing. Mike, I hear that you wash this vehicle with a hose inside the cockpit, is that true? That is correct, yeah, both inside and out. It's got uh, drain holes in the floor. Uh, there's obviously no uh, upholstery to worry about getting wet, so yeah, just uh, hose and go. So I heard that there's about maybe 2,000 of these sold, is that correct? Uh, so it's actually roughly 22,000 uh, sold in the U.S. Uh, 1973 and 74. That is great. And what's special about this vehicle to me, uh, it's really my our family bonding vehicle. It's kind of an emotional support vehicle, if you will, for my 17-month-old uh, son. Uh, can be kind of cranky sometimes, and, and we enjoy taking him out at night. Uh, a little moonlight cruise around the island, and it puts him right to sleep. So, By the way, the thing about the thing is that it's also known as a Type 181. Before 
we get to the bugs, which you know all of you are waiting for, we need to pay our respects to the Mark I, which is the first generation of the water-cooled Volkswagens, which has led to many generations such as the Mark V, Mark VI, Mark IV? I'm not sure, but it's got Corvette wheels, so it must go pretty fast. And the most recent, the Mark VII. Stay tuned, right after these messages, we'll be checking out the VW Bugs. <laughs> 